Okay, heel slides is one of the first exercises I'll give someone after they've had um, usually a knee surgery, orthoscopic, or even a knee replacement. And if I'm not wearing a shoe and my sock slides across the surface pretty easy, then I don't need a towel. But if I have my shoe on, um, I'll use a towel here to help it slide across the surface. And basically what I'm doing is just sitting up against a wedge or up against the wall, or just sitting up holding myself with my elbows and keeping my back in a good position. And then I'm just bringing my knee up as far as it'll go and trying to push it all the way straight. So I'm trying, usually I'm trying to do this for range of motion and just trying to get the muscles just starting to move. So I don't, I'm trying to go further, but I'm not going, going so hard that I'm going to inflame the, uh, inflame the joint. So if it's a little pain at the top, when we come down, the pain goes away, that's okay. But if you start doing it, it's causing pain and then you come down the pain's not going away, that says you're probably overworking it and it's time to rest. Same thing if you go straight. If there's a little pain there, but then you bend it to relax and the pain goes away, that's okay. But if you're pushing it straight and you bend it to relax and the pain's staying elevated, that means you're going too far. So that's the heel slide, okay? And then the other exercise I'll do, usually immediately afterwards, is, is the quad set. So I'm trying to keep my toe straight ahead and what I'm trying to do with the quad set is, is push, is to tra contract my quadricep muscle and push my, the back of my knee into the table as, as flat as I can. So I'm trying to get this, so I'm doing it to stretch the knee out straight and also get these muscles pulling with that knee in that locked out position. So I'll, in this one I'll hold for a five second count. So I'll push one, two, three, four, five, relax. And then push again, two, two, three, four, five, relax. And push again, three, two, three, four, five, relax. And I like to have my hand right on the muscle there, or have a patient put their hand right there so they can feel if their muscle's contracting underneath their hand. And they want to be able to feel that. And I'll have them use you know, the good side, the uninjured side too, where they can feel the muscle easy. To see what that feels like, I'll have them do a few reps and then try and do it with the, with the painful side or the injured side. And then the third exercise I'll start off with is the straight leg raise. And I don't like to do the straight leg raise while you're sitting up almost upright. Because that's, that's as far as I can stretch right there. It's already locking up my hamstrings that's stretched from my back. But I'll bring the wedge down, or use no wedge at all, just lay flat. And if I have this knee bent, then the straight leg raise, and I just try to lift, keep my knee as straight as possible. And then that's the motion. So I'm just lifting this hip up to 45 degrees, you know, or higher. Just what's what's comfortable for the patient, what they can do without rounding the back. And that's a straight leg raise.